All right, here is my Gold Wave recorder, similar to Audacity. And the first thing I need to do uh, prior to uh, recording the programs, whichever one it is, I have to make sure that it is set up correctly. So what I'm going to do is, uh, on Gold Wave, it's under Options, Control Properties. Uh, when I'm recording, uh, on Gold Wave, you have to set the record, uh, the length of your recording. And I have it set at 10 hours, so that, that's more than enough, and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, because once it gets to the end of the recording length, it stops recording. So you want to make sure you got plenty of recording time on this thing. Now under Device, uh, this is where we set up our devices. I normally have a uh, gold wave set to output on cable B. So when I'm editing the program, that's where I listen to it. Now, if you are recording Augusto all by himself, then what you're going to do is set your record device for hi-fi cable. So in other words, you're, you're uh, recording Augusto directly off of Skype. And that's what I would do. I would set it to hi-fi cable. If you are recording the end time news report or the um, uh, mailbag show, then it would be set to voice meter auxiliary output, which is this one right here. Now, if you're just recording the program, and let's say it's myself, Larry, and Augusto, and you're not a part of it, then you would do it as if you're just recording Augusto, because it'll be me. Larry and Augusto on Skype. You're not going to be recording yourself, so you would just be recording the Skype signal off of the Hi-Fi cable. So, and this is something you should go through before you do the program each time, because whenever I haven't done it and uh, done a double check, something didn't, uh, didn't work out right away, and I had to hurry up and get it fixed. So in this case, we're going to do a... Uh, we're going to, we'll start out doing a straight record from Skype. So I'll put it on Hi-Fi Cable. And once that's set, it's ready to go. And on Gold Wave, when I get ready to record, I just click on the record button. So right now I'm going to test it to make sure I'm getting uh, my Skype signal. So I'm going to open up Skype and I'm going to just run the sound test. And before I do that, I'll start recording. Now I'm recording, and now I'll do the sound test, and we should get a signal on the recorder. And there we go. It is recording. And I'm just double-checking to make sure the recording is coming in, and now I can stop it. And there's the recording, and now I'll play it back. And the recording is good. And the level is also good, too. You want to set it so that you're doing about 80% so that you get a good signal and uh, you won't have a bunch of noise on it. So I usually run it at about 80%. You can see how hot it is. You don't want to go any higher than that. If you're lower than that, say within the 50% range right here, that's fine also. So we've checked and make sure that we're getting a single signal. So we're good to go. And then I would just, uh, at the beginning of the program, as soon as Augusto calls in, I start recording on this one and my backup recorder. So, now if I'm recording myself and Larry and Augusto for the mailbag show, then what I will do is uh, change my settings. I already know that I'm getting a good signal from Skype, so I don't have to worry about that again. So this time I'm going to go to Control Properties and I'm going to set it to Voice Meter Auxiliary Output. And then I'm going to test my microphone to make sure that I am coming through on the recording. So we'll set it at OK. And I'm setting it there. And it's probably not set for that. So let me take a look here. There's my microphone. And I should be going to uh, the auxiliary setting here. I might not have something set right. Let me check here. OK, it's not recording. See, it's on pause. That happens sometimes. My mouse is a little temperamental. So I just hit the pause. And my microphone is a little hot. Again, this takes a little bit of tweaking. But now I know that I'm on the signal. And when Larry and Augusto come on Skype, their signal, the Skype signal, will also be channeled to this recorder. And it'll pick up the three of us. So we'll stop it here. And there I am on the, there I am on the recording. I'm a little bit hot here, too. I'd, I would have to, you know, just set it a little bit so it's not 
it's not as hot so there we go and that's how you do it and then you re record the program you start recording and regardless of what happens never stop the recording keep recording sometimes I have been doing a program and Augusto says oh hold on a second I've got a package delivery I'll be right back so Augusto runs away to get his uh, package just sit there and wait for him to come back and keep the recorder going and then make a note of the uh, timeline on this one it's right up here in the right hand corner and I make a note of the time so that I know uh, I can go in there and edit that out. So that is how you set up the recorder. And uh, in the email I send you, I'll show you the little uh, log that I keep so I can keep track of uh, who's talking. Because what I do on the mailbag and the end time news report, I do a an EQ uh, process to try to get everybody to sound about the same volume. So that may be something that you wouldn't want to do right away because it is quite involved. And I can do a, a video on that and show you how it's done.